Hey everyone, Katherine King here, your independent Sensi consultant, and today I have my Sensi Club unboxing. So this is a bigger one because I have my quarterly and I have my monthly. So my monthly typically consists of the, the scents that I want to try out that maybe I don't want to hurry up and, and place an order, pay the $8 in shipping. So I just throw it in my club and then I'll get it when my club order comes in. So that's kind of how I run my monthly club. My quarterly club includes all the scents that I don't want to be without typically. So these are the ones that are expired. Um, yeah, basically they're the ones expired. I do have some non-expired in my month or in my quarterly, um, but it's more unusual, I guess. So we'll get started. I am going to do my whiff box first because my whiff box is in my quarterly club. If you spend $60 a month, um, then you get a half price item. And during, well, in my monthly club, I use my quarterly item. I'm sorry, I'm tired today. I use my quarterly item for my whiff box. So here's the whiff box. And I used to have a whiff box sitting right here. Right now I have hand soaps. And this is my accumulation for Christmas, Christmas gifts. So usually, yes, I have a whiff box up there, but my daughters came shopping in my stash. One lives down in Corvallis and goes to Oregon State. And the other one lives in the Seattle area. So they came shopping and needed something to take their wax home with. They took it home in a whiff box. So let's get started. This month, there is no flyer, no big deal. Um, last month's was really fun because there was a recipe in it. I got some Sensi Air. And I am going to, you know that there's always a sample of the month, so I'm gonna hold that out. Um, first thing is Vanilla Mint in a scent circle. One of my favorites, I love Vanilla Mint. We got two bars. So I'm sure you've probably seen other people's whiff box unboxings. So we got two bars. We got one in Polar Bear Hug, also known as Eskimo Kiss, if you have old ones. And we have one in Arctic Kiss. So Arctic Kiss, I do not like. Um, just don't care for it. Uh, I don't know what it is about it. I just don't care for it. And then Polar Bear Hug is one I went crazy trying to get some last year because I found this scent after I joined and really after I started um, smelling, <sighs> smelling Scentsy. I fell in love with this. It will go in my club. I will never be without this scent. It's black, blackberry, all right. You know, I could be a good consultant and actually read you the scent notes. I have my book here. Okay, so Polar Bear Hug, Blackberry Jam, Caramelized Brown Sugar, Vanilla and Amber. I mean, it is amazing. I love, and I have nothing else that smells like that. And then Arctic Kiss is Art, Cool Arctic Mint and Fresh Air Embrace the Warmth of Fluffy Vanilla Clouds. I just don't smell that and I I just don't care for it. So next, which Lord knows I have enough counter cleans. They're all right in there behind Mr. Ghostface. Um, is a counter clean and this is in evergreen and grapefruit, which I heard is an amazing scent. So that's fantastic. And then the last thing in the box, let me throw some squiggles away here. Um, the last thing in a box is a fragrance flower. Now it appears as though people are getting different fragrance flowers. I've been seeing a lot of people getting the joy and something. Mine is mold cider and spice, which is weird because the there was one month that everyone seemed to get a different fragrance. Oh, it was in the harvest collection. They got a different fragrance flower than me and I got acorn. It's a scent I don't like. And I'm like, how did I get acorn? And I didn't get, it was like, I think it was the pumpkin and spice one. I'm like, how come I didn't get that one? And instead I got acorn. But this one, I got mold cider and spice. I'm excited to try that. I honestly, the only thing I've smelled in those 
um, scents are in the um, scent circles. They came a little special, their ornament shape. I didn't do an unboxing of that particular order because it had a lot of Christmas gifts in it. So I did not do an unboxing. It's actually, it's sitting right down there. But uh, uh, I have people who watch my videos, um, family members, and so I didn't want them seeing some of their Christmas gifts. So I know that people have asked me, well, where's all my Sensi videos if I'm a Sensi consultant? Well, right now, that's why you're not seeing a lot of them because they have Christmas gifts in them. So I'm just, yeah, not going to give it away. All right, let's try the scent of the month for next month, which is Black Forest Pine. Now I just found out my husband does not like pine scents. So all my pine scents, I'm trying to figure out how and when I'm going to melt those. He doesn't like coffee either. And that's why I have throughout the house today. This is definite, definite pine. It's really, really good. But it is, it is definitely really strong pine. So I'll be happy to get my one bar because usually the scent of the month comes as one of the bars, but there's been a couple, two, three times this year that they haven't done that, which is honestly a little disappointing, but I'll just order one if it doesn't come in next month's whiff box. So it's very, very good because over here, right here, you'll see, um, I have a lot of stacks, but these stacks right here, those are all the scents of the month. And at the end of the year, I'm going to rate my favorite to least favorite scent of the months through the year. Um, I saw another consultant do that and I thought, you know what, that is a excellent idea. But I will warm this probably at work um, and we'll see what I think of it. So that's my whiff box, excited about that. Let's set that down. Now for the other things that came, in my monthly club, so as you know, it's brick season. It's holiday brick season right now. I didn't think that I wanted to get all of the bricks, but if you don't want to get bricks of the, you know, the holiday bricks, if you put them in your Scentsy Club, they come as bars. So I got the holiday bricks in bar form. So we'll be going through that here in a sec, but let me show you. I just got a, Lexi, my daughter wanted some scent circles in the pines so she could put them in her cars. I got eucalyptus wreath for me, cause I love that. I got very snowy spruce and iced pine for my daughter Lexi's car. So I got those for her. Um, we'll go through those in a minute. I picked up two Mighty Pines. One is for Lexi and one is for me. I haven't smelled it yet. I only have it in the circle. And that's a really, really good pine. Oh, that's really good. I like that. Oh, I wish my husband liked pine. Okay, next one. I wanted to try Olaf Warm Hugs. I heard this smells a lot like the NHL Fresh Ice. So, which I do like. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, I like the bottom better. Oh, that's really good. That is a nice minty scent. It's not real strong. It's just a nice uh, sweet mint scent. And then I picked up two Jack's Obsession because Lexi stole mine. Such a good uh, cinnamony apple scent. So let's go through these. First one I'm a little nervous about, Sweet Orange Palmander. Uh, actually, that's not bad. I can definitely smell the spices in it. That's actually pretty good. All right, I like that. Um, definitely spicy. 
Next one, vanilla cinnamon maple. So I'm going in order of how I think I'm gonna like them, least to, to most. Okay. Mm -mm. No, I'm not keen on that. And that might be the maple, I'm not sure. Mm, we'll see. I take these to work to melt them. Next one, I'm not sure, fuzzy fleece, because I've heard it's a fresh scent. You know I don't really do fresh. Yeah, okay, that's laundry. It's beautiful. It's a floral laundry, though. That is actually really nice, but it is a floral laundry. It could give me a headache, so we'll see. Um, next one, spiced eggnog. My husband doesn't like eggnog. Uh, that smells kind of odd. Is it only me? That smells kind of odd. Hmm. And granted, my UPS guy just dropped it off and we're pretty warm today. It's pouring down rain, um, but it's about 60, so. And then the last one is Pink Poinsettia. And I figured this one would be my favorite because I, oh, that is good. Because it has berries in it. And of course me being the consultant that I am, don't have my iPad in here to pull up the scent notes. I do really like that one. That is a berry, like slightly, little bit floral and berry. Actually, I'm impressed. I will be taking those to work. Um, so I work at a union hall and uh, for a plumber's union. And um, one of the bathrooms I use and our credit union that's attached to our union hall, they use that bathroom and then we use the bathroom. So I take and I put a cube, I have a wall warmer in the bathroom and I put a cube in the warmer and then I take this and set it on the, you know, kind of on the sink next to where the warmer is. Most people use the other sink. So they know what scent is in there. And then if it's really nasty, they tell me. So right now I am warming through the sense of the season so far. Um, I don't really like fireside chats. The only one I don't like so far, but I do have two more bars to go and I'm not going to give it away yet. So, all right. So that was everything in my monthly club. This is my quarterly club. <laughs> Look at all that goodness. You ready to get started? All right, let me set this down here. I'll just kind of precariously set it on the other box. All right, let's reach in here. So most, most of these, that one's not. Um, my club isn't huge, I'll warn you. But um, most of these are scents that are not available. But I do have a couple in here that are that you can still get. But I use my quarterly club for scents that aren't available. So the first one, Rainbow Sherbert. Oh, I love this scent. It is creamy, fruity, rainbowy fruit. It's definitely creamy. Oh, it's so good. I love rainbow sherbet. I'm going to do that one later. Next one, pineapple pucker. So these are all the ones I couldn't live without from the spring summer catalog. Oh, it is such a strong pineapple. I love it. All right, Snow Kissed Cranberry did not, I don't think it came back this year. Okay, now I'm second guessing myself. I don't think Snow Kissed Cranberry came back. Knowing me, it did, and I'm still, I still have it in my club. I usually try and remove things out of my club. Um, that came back. Snowberry came back. Yeah, okay, so Snow Kissed Cranberry did not come back. And if I recall, it was or is in clearance right now. Mm. It's 
like pine and cranberries, I think. Oh, so good. Next, oodles of orange. And I wasn't sure about this at first because it's not like it's orange. It is orange citrus. So all the, just think of it as a citrus that is all the oranges. Mm, so good. We all know it's Sean Roberry's favorite. All right, another Jack's Obsession. And then we got Experiment 624. I do not like Experiment 626. There's something floral in it, but I love 624. It really reminds me a lot of the pink um, sugarberry mint that came out in March. Oh, it's so good. And I don't have pink sugarberry mint in my club, but I have that and I have a lot of that. Um, I got two Orchard Apple and Spice because Tim really liked this one. It is such a good apple spice. Oh, I'm curious. Hmm. Let's see. This one. They're really, really similar. I'm gonna warn you. Very, very similar. This is just a touch stronger in the um, spice. Next, cranberry, I thought I got two. Maybe I only got one. Cranberry pumpkin spice, which is also part of Harvest. And I believe still available. Oh, it's so good. I love it. Next one, I am snow over it. This is from last winter season. Mm, it is so good. I wish they would have brought this one. Well, I have it in my club, but. It's just a very nice, light, pine needle -y scent. Let's see, I have my catalogs here. I keep them uh, in this bag to keep them, you know, decent. So here is last season. So I'm snow over it. I'm snow over it is sage, whispering pine, cedar wood, and bright berries is what's in this one. Oh, it's so good, but it is a light scent. Um, it's in the fresh category. Oh, I got another Olaf. Uh, be fabulous. Oh, it's so good. See, this is why I keep my catalog. Okay, so be fabulous. And see, and I and I write in my catalogs. So that's why these are personally my catalogs with my notes. So that way when I go to um, decide whether I wanna put something in my club, I have my notes in my catalog. So just something that I do. Be fabulous, limoncello, ruby, grapefruit, and sugared musk. Oh, it's so good. You can definitely smell the grapefruit in that to me. Okay, cocoa lime, coconut and lime. Mm. Coconut milk, creamy vanilla and fresh lime. And the, you can tell these are newly poured because it does have the different scent categories. I've never been able to see the scents. They have started putting this embossed number on, but I don't know what the number means. It says, E33. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's bat a batch code or something, but. All right, next. Ah, uh, Stroop Waffle Delight. Mm. So, for those of you who love Stroop Waffle and didn't put it in your club, because this is from two seasons ago, it's a wonderful cinnamon bakery. One of my favorites. If you don't have it, I'll let you know. Goose Creek does have a Stroop Waffle. I don't know if it's the same, but Goose Creek does have one. Okay, next. Tangerine Creamsicle. Icy Tangerine Mango and Vanilla Cream Swirl. Mm. Man, I, I'll be honest. I've been 
melting so many heavy scented spiced and bakery that sometimes it is nice to sit and smell these really light fresh citruses and fruits um halloween town speaking of it's i have yet to to melt these so we shall see this one's loose in its package and poured a while ago see there's no and must have been see how colored it is not definitely not a fresh pour I don't know where you guys all see that, but whatever. I will let you know what I think of that. All right, Mocha Doodle. So Mocha Doodle is, I believe it's under bakery. Yeah, this is coffee beans, sugar, caramel, and heavy cream. Um, I don't think it, it's not heavy coffee bean. This is not if you're wanting a coffee scent. This isn't one I would put in. I just think it's a really nice scent and I like it. But I would need to add additional coffee, probably from um, a vendor wax to add additional coffee scent. Next, oh, there's my other cranberry pumpkin. I know I got two of those. I thought I got two and two. Okay coconut daiquiri this was part of the summer collection mm. and it seriously is like coconut maybe some pineapple newly poured because it does have the scent markings on the back oh it just smells like a daiquiri to me i have a lot of these and i love that scent next one slay all day and that's in last winter season, which is snow kissed mint, juniper, and fr and mountain air. Mm. It's the thing you smell in this is juniper. Oh, it is so good. So good. Next, Aladdin. I really like Aladdin. It is a fruity berry scent that is so, so good. One thing we need to continue imploring Sensi to do is even if they put it on the inside, put the scent notes on these. Oh, that's so good. I love Aladdin. It will stay in my club. It's amazing. Um, and the last, yep, yeah, the last bar that I have is mango and mandarin nectar. Mm, man. To me, I smell mango and it's a deep, beautiful mango and it comes um during this uh summer collection it also came in um dish soap and counter clean so good oh love that scent so those are what i have for my bars and then ugh, my lips taste like wax and then this year after i think several um Oh, no, I have one more. That's right. I got Frozen 2, which is something I haven't smelled yet. So this is Fearless by Nature. Mm, I don't think I'm going to like it. It smells laundry to me. Yeah. Uh, outdoorsy and laundry. So um, I can go ahead and take that one out of my club then. Okay, so... People have been asking Sensi to change up their bricks. So part of um, if you have a club is you can get and always get my, uh, I'll always get my bar, yes, but you can get a brick. And that's typically the only time you can get bricks. They have the holiday brick campaign and then I guess they used to have the summer one. They didn't this last year. Um, so let's hope they come back out and do that again, but you can get a brick. So, um, I'm sure that all you guys know the difference between a bar and a brick. So that's be the difference between a bar and a brick. Bricks are very large. So, I mean, I have, you know, a fairly decent size hand, but you know, they're, they're big. Mm. Gosh, 
information about the scent. So they, uh, people have been asking him, please, 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 please come out with new bricks, change it up, add some more. So this year they did. So my first new brick of this campaign, because these only come quarterly, I got in Blue Grotto. Blue Grotto is Tropical Notes, Sweet Citrus, and Lush Bo Botanicals. So to me, this is not floral. This is fruity. Mm, it is so good. So I am excited to have my first brick in Blue Grotto. So that's what I have. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25... 33 bars and a brick. It's a good day. So anyway, that's what I have for you. That's my Scentsy monthly club and my Scentsy quarterly club. So thanks for hanging out with me and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye guys.